Hello and welcome back to another Handyman Land video. Today's video will be about this truck bed cargo unloader from Harbor Freight. Here we have some instructions and looks like it's pretty much assembled. So for the first step they're talking about the um, crank slot. So this is the crank slot and it's, they're saying they want it on the left side of the vehicle. Next step is to remove these caps. Now these are what they call the stop bolts. It brings four. So you slide on two first on each end. Once you have one on each end, then you put your brackets. Now looking at the photo, it looks like the bracket is facing downward. So it should go like something like this. Here I have it. So now you can put your rotor bar caps back on. Now it came with one buckle. They want this buckle to be on the left side. So I guess the best way to do it is to close this up. Then I guess you would just try to figure out where you want it. I guess give it a little gap. It doesn't really say. Then you tighten these Phillips. Now I notice when tightening this Phillip here, the nut just keeps on spinning. I don't believe it should be doing that. Now, what I did to make it easier, I had just slide in a flathead right here, and then I started tightening my fill-up. It just made it so much easier because there wasn't much play for you to put pliers or anything here. Now, to tighten the bolt, I had two 1116s to be able to tighten the nut in the bolt. So now, if I'm right, these straps go in and over and you strap it to here. So you might wanna check before you start loading your truck that you do have clearance that you're going to be able to spin this all the way around I have the straps on both sides nice and tight now the next step is this buckle here so supposedly the buckle connects to the bottom of your bumper like so and then you just start tightening it up from here start pulling here I have the strap nice and tight and so you take and connect the buckle to the bottom of your bumper it only brings one and you're supposed to put this one on the left side where you're doing all the cranking I know someone on YouTube was complaining about that there should be another one on the opposite side and his complaint was because the liner wasn't coming out nice and even and I think it's because on his video when you look this was moving way too much on here I have it nice and tight I think his settings were probably off so you gotta adjust the settings it all depends on the truck so this is a f-150 
a 2000 Ford F-150 and this is where I have it at now on your truck it might be different but it does have at least four different locations so I rolled the liner all the way in to the bed this is um, an eight foot bed <clears throat> and it comes with these velcros so I just put them here so I don't lose them but this is what they use to keep the liner rolled up if you're leaving this on your truck I don't really recommend to leave this on the truck but you can as long as your um, straps are nice and tight you might just want to check on them every now and then but how it looks so this is an eight foot bed and now with this it's about 10 feet so let's start loading some of this stuff up and let's see if this thing actually works as you can see I got about a good yard in there So there you have it. I really like it. It was well worth the money. Um, I will be doing a review on this because I need to pick up at least a yard of gravel for another project. And I'll let you know how it handles that. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in this area, do a few loads like this, and I should be done in no time. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe.